Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela, and here on this channel I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. I also create similar content on my website, angelamichelle.com, so I would greatly appreciate it if you head over there and take a look at things. Now, as you can see by the title, there's a question that needs to be answered. And what I can tell you is it's definitely working for me. Yes, it is. Now, let me give you a little backstory. If you don't know, most of you do already. My husband and I just recently moved, recently it's almost 10 months now, um, back home to the U.S. from Saudi Arabia. We moved back in August. And so that was a huge transition for me, a life, huge life change. I had been there for five and a half years. And then also the next life change was I went from working full time as a nurse to working full time as a YouTuber. And then I came in, my daughter gave me grandma on duty. So I had to pick the grandkids up once a week from school. Then the holiday seasons came about. So there was a lot of stuff going on from August to pretty, pretty much February. And saying all that, my eating routine, my exercise routine, everything completely went chaotic and just kind of, I just honestly just fell off the horse. I just could not get my routine together. And I found myself getting tired a lot. I couldn't sleep that much. And I was having a lot of trouble sleeping. I told my husband, I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble sleeping. I probably need to go to the doctor and, and talk to him about it. I can't figure out what's going on all the time, knowing that when I eat better and when I exercise, I feel better. I sleep better. It just, everything is a lot better for me physically, emotionally, mentally. And and you all heard me saying, I didn't fill off the horse. I just need to get myself together. So I finally, about three weeks ago, was like, I, I have to get myself together. I need to start back eating correctly or eating better. And I need to start exercising so that I can feel my best. I just need to do it. I just need to do it. I need to get back up on that horse. Fast forward to do fasting. Today's video is in partnership with Do Fasting. Do Fasting is an intermittent fasting app that you download on your phone that you can use every single day, all day long. I love this app, I'm always looking at it. Now, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is not a diet. It is a window of eating, a window of when you're gonna eat and where you're not gonna eat. And we all fast without thinking about it. We're fasting while we're sleeping, we're not eating. But intentional intermittent fasting is a set time frame. I'm gonna stop eating at this time and I'm gonna start eating at this time. And what are the benefits of intermittent fasting or why I'm doing it? I'm doing it because I know that I'm gonna to go to sleep, my body's still gonna be processing the food that I ate so it can't focus on building my cells, repairing my cells. If you extend that fasting time, it gives your body the time to go ahead and process that food. Now that work is done. Now I can work on myself. I can help build those cells. I can get rid of waste products that I don't need. I can help rejuvenate the cells, which in turn will give me more energy in the morning. It'll have the potential to extend my life because I'm not putting all those products in my body. And then once I start start intermittent fasting, I know for me, I'm going to eat better. If I'm going to take the time and energy to fast, then I'm going to choose my foods more carefully. Now I will have me a donut or a cookie every now and then, or I will have a Coke if I'm really, really craving that Coke, but it'll get me in the habit of eating better. Also, when I eat better, then I start exercising. So it creates a really great, fantastic, healthy eating habit, a healthy circle of let me do what's best for me. So I have always loved fasting. You know, I'm from the South. I go to church. We do fasting, particularly around Easter, but sometimes we do fast and pray based on what's going on. But I've always known that fasting was great. I've never gotten into the habit of intentionally fasting for an extended period of time. And I really, really based on how I'm feeling now, because I can be honest with you, I feel a hundred percent better. This is going to be a lifestyle for me. It's not just a fad. I'm going to start practicing this or I'm not going to start. I've already started. I'm going to practice this, this for the rest of my life. That is the goal. If it's going to make me feel this way, fasting and exercising, this is it. I, I, this is it. I'm just going to be doing this. Now, this particular app, Do Fasting, I really like it. It's on my phone. I don't know about you, but I'm on my phone a lot. And the benefits of that being on my phone is I'm able to track my meals. So the app 
tracks my meals. I put my meals in. It tells me how many calories that I've taken in for that day or how many calories I've taken in so far. And it'll give me an amount of calories I need to stick to based on the goals that I set for myself. For me, because my goal was just to lose five pounds. Right about now, I've lost three. I've been doing it about two and a half weeks and I'm feeling, I'm just feeling so much better. So it tells me my calorie intake. It also has a water tracker. So when I drink water, I measure that and I put the water in there and they tell me how much water I've consumed for the day and what my goal is for the day. And it also has a step tracker on there, which I really like. And what I really, really like about that is when I signed up for it, the step tracker, I was able to sync that with my Apple Watch and my phone. So I don't even have to put my steps in. I just open the app and my steps are already there because it's coming directly from my phone or it's coming directly from my Apple Watch. Love that. Some of the other things that do fasting offers are specific diet plans. It has di vegan diet plans. It has diabetic diets. I'm diabetic. So I love the options that it gives me based on uh, my diabetes. You know, I get used to cooking stuff or eating specific foods and I forget about other foods. Like one of the things that it was recommending was salmon and asparagus. Now I love fish. I love fish, but I don't really think about salmon a lot. And it, I really don't think about asparagus a lot. My husband cooks it on the grill and we love it. But when I'm cooking for myself, if he's out of town, then I don't even really think about asparagus. So when it go on there, it has that list. And I was like, oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot about asparagus. Let me go ahead and get some of that for myself. The app also has articles about intermittent fasting and various things that have to do with intermittent fasting. And I like to read. And when I was scrolling through, most of the articles are, are a two to three minute read. So quick and easy, you know, we are busy. We don't have time to read a book of stuff. Two to three minutes, bam, you're done. And, and there were lots and lots of articles. I was really pleased with that. One of the other things it offers is at home exercise. So, and this is all free within the app. So it has some exercises that you can do at home where you don't have to have any equipment. You don't have to go to the gym. My personal favorite exercise is jump roping. I love jump roping. It's a very inexpensive piece of equipment. You can buy a jump rope at Walmart. You can buy it at a sporting goods store, but in its, you can wrap it up and take it out of town with you. I take my jump rope out of town when I go out of town so I can exercise and it requires just a very little space to use it. But this app does have exercises that you can do at home. The exercises are broken down into basic, intermediate, and advanced. So you can choose whichever one you like and it breaks it down into different body areas as well. So there are lots of options there. And when it comes to meal planning, it has over 5,000 meals. Now that's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. So you, you don't have to worry about what am I going to eat today? Let me just, you just pull up your app and go on there and I, I'm feeling like this. Oh, okay. So you can put your little meal together. So this app is wonderful. And you know, because we have it in our phone, so it's always accessible. It's right there in your purse. So you can look through it and pick out you some meals right before you go into the grocery store. So you'll know what ingredients you need to pick up while you're there. So you, you can't beat that. And don't forget each fasting plan is based on your specific goals. So the app has tips and tricks to help you achieve your goals and just tips based on your specific goals. So you don't have to worry about what am I going to do and how can I stay successful? It has a lot of tips that'll help you along the way. Now, um, you all know that I'm a nurse. I'm always curious about the information behind whatever I'm reading. And this app was created by professional nutritionists. So which makes me feel a lot better about making certain that the information is accurate and that they've done their research. So I, I'm loving that part of the app. Now, if you'd like to try do fasting for yourself, they're currently offering up to 75% off all of their fasting plans. And the first 500 people who want to try the plan can use my code Angela 10 to get an additional 10% off. Now, in order to get that additional 10% off, you have to sign up with a web browser, which means you have to sign up on your computer. Now, what I can say about this entire experience is <laughs> it is, it's easy, but it's not easy. It's worth it. The first day, the first day I said, I'm going to be fasting tomorrow. I woke up hungry. I, 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 I was struggling. I remember looking at my watch. My fasting window is 8 p.m. to 10 a.m. And so I'm normally, I normally get up, have some coffee and maybe not eat breakfast, but I always have some coffee. And if it were black coffee, it'd be fine because you can have black coffee while you're fasting. You have black coffee and you can have water. But my coffee is full of cream. And so I'm sitting there clocking. I'm just, I'm just waiting for 10 o'clock to come. 
you know, that was a, that was a struggle day. Now the next day was a struggle day, not quite as bad. And as I've gotten gone on, the days have, it's gotten a lot easier to wait until ten o'clock to have something to eat. And I normally don't I don't eat at ten o'clock. I just want my coffee. Can I just please have my cup of coffee? But I can promise you that I am feeling a hundred percent better. And I was just telling my husband a couple of days ago that I'm sleeping better. Did you notice that I'm sleeping better? Like I get in the, I take my shower, do my skin, cause I do my skincare, cause you know, I do my skincare every night. Do my skincare and, and I get in the bed and maybe on my phone for a couple of minutes, which I know is not good. Get on my phone, then I'll put it down. Once I lay my phone down, and decided I'm going to sleep. I, I, I don't remember falling asleep, which has been a struggle. So I'm so, so very pleased. And again, I think that this fasting and incorporating the exercise and because I'm doing that and then I'm eating better, it's just making me feel a hundred percent better. I am loving it. And I just really want to feel this way forever. I want to feel this healthy. I want to have this much energy. I was tired all the time. And I was like, because I'm working from home, when I'm tired, I can work and then I can go take me a nap. I haven't had a nap. I haven't had a nap in probably a week and a half. And, and the, just think I haven't had a nap in about a week and a half, which is just fantastic. And the only reason I was taking a nap is because I was tired, probably from not sleeping and just tired because I wasn't eating well and wasn't exercising. So um, the first few days of exercising and stuff, I was tired. Of course I was tired, but I'm feeling 100% better. And my goal is to feel better forever. Now, my two exercises that I do most, or I do uh, um, most of the time, or I ride my stationary bike. I got that from Amazon. I looked at the reviews and, and chose that. And um, my son put it together for me. And then um, my jump rope. So jump rope is easy, but it is exhausting. It's something, and I remember the first time I, I committed to doing a uh, jump roping a lot. It's something you have to build up to. So. Right now, my goal is just to be consistent, to be consistently exercising. I don't have to do it every day, but at least every other day, jump rope or ride the bike. And once I get into the habit of doing that, then I'll set goals of, okay, I need to exercise for 45 minutes. My goal is to exercise for an hour, hour and 15 minutes, nonstop, like of cardio. I like cardio, and I know as we're getting older, I'm gonna start incorporating some weights. And I don't necessarily have to do weights, but I can do push-ups and, and correctly, the straight push-ups. Right now, when I, it, at night when I go in the bathroom, take my shower, take my clothes off, I'll do um, push-ups off of the sink. And so I'm trying to make sure my arm, <laughs> my arms stay toned. It's all vanity, honey. These arms stay toned. But then I'll build up to doing push-ups at one time, but I was a lot younger. I could do, I think it was 75 push-ups nonstop, just knock them out. Bam, 75 push-ups. And it's like 75 push-ups and 100, 150 sit-ups. But I think I was like 20. So that was a long time ago, but I just want to stay healthy and feel and look my best at whatever age I'm at. So jump roping is a great exercise for me. I know that a lot of women can't jump rope or a lot of men can't jump rope either um, because of their knees or their ankles. And so they don't want to do that sort of cardio exercise. But for me, that works. And since I've been fasting, my husband has started fasting, but his window is a lot shorter than mine. My window is 14 hours and you've been doing like 12 hours, honey, or 16 hours of fasting. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I only have a six hour uh, eating window and he stays hungry. <laughs> so, but he likes black coffee. He drinks black coffee. So he'll have coffee as soon as he gets up and then he'll make my coffee. And I'm sitting there looking over there at my, cause my coffee, he puts it in a Yeti cup. So it'll stay hot, hot, hot for uh, three to four hours. So my cup usually just sits there for an hour and a half, two hours until my 10 o'clock window starts so I can have my coffee. But He's been doing it as well. Are you feeling better? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. It. Cause you haven't had um, a nap either while you're at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're feeling better. So if you want to try intermittent fasting, it is, I highly recommend it. And I think it is something that we all could benefit from, especially, you know, we want our cells to grow and rejuvenate. We want our cells to be rejuvenated while we're sleeping or while we're resting. And that resting includes those hours that we're awake if we're still fasting. So that's it family. I really hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget, I will have a link to do fasting in the description box below the video. Don't forget to use my code Angela 10 to get your additional 10% off and sign up on your computer, not your phone to get the additional 10% off. Now, no matter where you are in the world, I pray that you have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.